Yesterday, Pakistan dismissed the Indian Supreme Court's verdict upholding the abrogation of Article 370 as having no legal value, emphasizing that international law does not recognize India's unilateral and illegal actions of August 5, 2019. Article 370 granted special status to the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir. And the Supreme Court's unanimous decision supported the Indian government's move to revoke it. Caretaker Foreign Minister Jalil Abbas Jilani, addressing a press conference in Islamabad, asserted that the judgment had no legal standing in the eyes of international law. He argued that Kashmiris have an inalienable right to self-determination in accordance with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. Jilani contended that India lacked the authority to make unilateral decisions regarding the dispute territory of Jammu and Kashmir against the wishes of the local population and Pakistan. Expressing categorical rejection of the Indian Supreme Court's decision, Jilani labelled it a travesty of justice. He reiterated that Jammu and Kashmir has been a long-standing international dispute under the consideration of the UN Security Council for over seven decades, emphasizing that need to follow UN resolutions and respect the aspirations of the Kashmiri people. Jilani stated that Pakistan does not acknowledge the supremacy of the Indian constitution over the region. Tensions between India and Pakistan, particularly over the Kashmir issue, have a history of a straining diplomatic relations. The situation escalated following India's abrogation of Article 370, leading to the expulsion of the Indian envoy and a downgrade of trade ties by Pakistan. India consistently maintains that Kashmir is an internal matter and expresses a desire for normal, friendly relations with Pakistan free from terrorism and hostility. Jilani accused India of attempting to alter the demographic structure and political landscape of Kashmir through unilateral and illegal measures since August 5, 2019. He asserted that these measures aimed at disempowering the Kashmiri community must be resident for peace and dialogue to prevail. Pakistan is committed to providing political, diplomatic and moral support to the people of Kashmir in realizing their rights to self-determination. The foreign minister announced plans to convince a meeting of all stakeholders to determine Pakistan's future course of action. Responding to concerns about a potential increased militancy in Kashmir, Jilani argued that Kashmiris never accepted Indian rule, likening their potential reaction to that of the people of Gaza. He clarified that no ongoing dialogue with India was taking place. Former Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif criticized the Indian Supreme Court's decision, deeming it a biased decision that violated international laws and betrayed the sacrifices of millions of Kashmiris. He predicted that the verdict would strengthen Kashmiris freedom movement with the Pakistan Muslim League, Nawaz pledging to advocate for Kashmiri rights. Similarly, Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari accused India of disregarding international laws and UN resolutions, stating that the Indian Parliament and courts could not rewrite international agreements.